Hey guys, it's iApple Tech, and today I'm, I'm going over a Siri proxy for the installed City of Tweak Spire. Now, if you're not sure what Spire is, Spire allows you to get Siri on your non iPhone 4S device, including all the iPads, the iPhone 4th generation, 3rd generation, and the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. Now, this company is called IP4 Siri. Do not get them confused with. Uh, the other company called i4 Siri, which uses Google's API, IP4 Siri, which we'll be going over a review shortly, uh, uses Apple servers to connect Siri to. You get all the basic uh, information, such as your stocks, asking it questions, just normally how the Siri would work on the iPhone 4S. So right here, let's just do a quick demo that is showing you that it does work on my iPad 2 and my iPhone 4. You notice it is an iPhone 4 because it does not have the antenna brakes in the top of the iPhone. So let's do the iPad 2 first. Hi. Hello there. So you can see it works right there. We'll go ahead and ask it a few questions just to show you that does work. What time is it? Time is 4 11 p.m. Now you do notice this does work with the plugins of time, weather, and the stocks. Once you do download a little city a tweak that I will be going over later. So you, it does work for all those applications. Hi. Hello. So there you go. It works perfectly fine. I'll ask you the same question. What time is it? It's 4 12 p.m. Now, in order for IP4 Siri to work on either your iPad or your iPhone, you will have to be jailbroken and you will have to download Spire, which is the Siri alternative on both devices. If you're running the iPad 2, it's a little bit more difficult uh, to do. You can always watch my tutorial on how to download it for the iPad, or you can add the iHacks repo right there. Um, into your device and you can download Spire for iPad or the iPad 2 that will install it for you and if you're running the iPhone 4 you can just go ahead and search for Spire on your device and go ahead and download it if you do want the iPhone 4 stock applications on your iPad 2 you will also have to download a city of tweak for free called Belfry which is available in the big boss repo right there and like I said before it basically just allows you to have those different applications such as the ones listed down below here on your iPad 2 so this is IP4 Siri's website and they specialize on getting Siri on your non iPhone 4S device. Now this includes the iPod Touch 3rd, 4th gen, the iPhone 3GS and 4 and the iPad 1st and 2nd generation. Right now they have two featured products. One is a one year subscription for $20 and the other is a lifetime subscription for $35. Now each of these subscription is for one device only and is non-transferable. When you do sign up with them you will have to sign a user agreement saying that you will not trade off their certificate or the proxy server IP to others. They um, are tracking each device on their network since you will have to provide them with each device's UDID code which is um, Apple's serial for each device and if it is found on a non uh, device that is registered with their website or their server they will terminate your service forever and you will not be able to get it. Now their website uh, says that they will uh, re-upload the 4S's keys every 24 hours so there's no downtime and they have a nice FAQ so if you have any questions you can go ahead and shoot them an email or uh, ask them on Twitter and they usually get around you within a few hours so it's pretty good service and I highly do recommend them okay so now we're going to install the certificate and enter in the IP address that they have emailed to us after purchasing the desired amount of length so first go ahead and open up the email they sent to you and you'll see the certificate and the IP address go ahead and copy the IP address which we're gonna put into Spire a little later later on and then go ahead and open up the certificate 
Now this will be a box one certificate and it will install a profile on your device. Just continue on through the, the steps. Then go ahead and click done. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your settings app and go back into general and make sure that the profile is there, which it is. And then go back into general, Siri, and enable Siri on your device. Then once it is enabled, you want to go down to Spire, which you have just installed in Cydia. Open that up and paste in the proxy host that they have given you. And then once pasted, let's go ahead and test it out a little later on. If you do try to test out Siri on your iPad 2 and end up with this message. I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. There is an easy fix to do this. Go ahead and download iFile, which is only a $4 product, and this will help you in the configuration of Siri on your iPad 2. Then you want to go into your Spire and delete your proxy host right here. Go ahead and delete that. Make sure you're also in general and make sure you turn off Siri on your device and turn it off so that it recalibrates. Then go into your iFile and make sure you're under the VAR mobile library preferences. Once you're in that, go ahead and scroll down to com.apple.assistant.plist, this one right here. You want to go ahead and click edit at the top and go ahead and delete that by, by clicking the delete. And you want to move file to trash. Then go ahead and click done. Then once you have deleted it off your iFile, the com to Apple Assistant, Go ahead and double tap the home button and make sure you close out of all the applications that you are currently in. Just like there's nothing down here. Go ahead and click that then and go back to the home. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reboot your device. So now once we fix that in file, let's go ahead and just do a few test runs here just so those work. Hi. Hello. What time is it? It's 4.54 p.m. So there you go, showing you that it does work. So it also works with different plugins for Siri. So let's go ahead and test those out now. Lock iPhone. Locked. So we have both devices right here. They're both compatible with IP4 Siri. And let's just go ahead and do some more tests. Tell me a joke. I don't really know any good jokes. None, in fact. Tell me a joke. Mitch, I don't really know any good jokes. None, in fact. What is the weather like for tomorrow? It might get a bit slippery out there. So there you go, shows works. What is Google stock? Google closed down somewhat today. $605.91. So there you go. And showing you that this does work with the plugins, you can go ahead and say, like, lock your iPhone. Lock iPhone. So there, go ahead and shut off my iPhone, or lock my iPhone. And you can also do stuff like the battery percentage. Battery percentage. Level is 75.00% battery is in use. Discharging. So there you go. Both devices are running Siri and they are really nice. So if you guys do want Siri on your device, uh, 
cannot make the Siri proxy for yourself, I do recommend IP for Siri. They have great communication, uh, good people to talk with. Their service is fast, and it works for all the devices, iPod Touch, iPhone, and the iPad. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give them a like up. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.